Hi boys and girls, welcome to your first day of recording the math lesson. Make sure that you're using your materials while you're playing the video so that we can learn as much as we can. And on my screen, I'm going to be showing you what you're supposed to be doing, which is right here in the dark camera. And on the PowerPoint is the lesson. So the materials for today, I know my little video is kind of on top of that, but we're going to be using our 10 frame. Let me get my magic pointer, right? Can't forget to use it. So we're going to be using our 10 frame, which is this, our Eureka learn book, the one with the blue on the corner, or big book, and our counters. You need 10 counters. So we are going to begin. Make sure that you have these materials ready. If you don't, you can go ahead and press pause and then press play when you're ready to continue. So today we're doing lesson one. I know I started it a bit last Friday, but just to make sure that we understand it, I'm going to go over it again. Um, and our objective is I can find hidden numbers in numbers up to 10 using five groups and number bonds. Well, that I know it's a long statement, but all that means is that we can find numbers that are hiding in numbers up to 10 by using our five groups. That means groups of five and number bonds, which you should have all learned from kindergarten. So these are key points, boys and girls. Right here, you have our what. That means this is what we already need to know in order to be successful in our lesson. And I know you guys all know this from kindergarten. Here is a picture of our number bond. And in our number bond, we have a part, another part, and a whole, or we can also call that our total. So you need to know the parts of your number bond to be successful in today's lesson. And how, the how is the steps we're going to take in order to solve the problems. So step one is find the five group. So we're gonna look for the five group. Step two is find the other part. Then we're gonna find the other part because remember a number bond has two parts, boys and girls. And three, we're gonna count on and fill in the number bond. So our last step is we're gonna count on, which is a new strategy that we're gonna learn in counting so that we don't have to count every single object and we can just count quickly. We're gonna count on and fill in the number bond with the numbers that match. So these are our key points and let's get started. So, Count to find out how many spaces there are in your 10 frame. Go ahead and take out your 10 frame, boys and girls. I'm showing you on the screen what you should be doing. So you should have this as your 10 frame. And let's count to find how many slots there are. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many spaces are there in our 10 frame, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, 10, you are totally right. So now let's look, how many spaces in the top row? How many spaces in the top row? Get ready. Yes, five spaces in the top row. How many spaces in the bottom row, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, five spaces in the bottom row as well. Wow, kiss your brains because y'all are so smart. Yes, awesome. So now let's go ahead and take out our counters in your bag and we're gonna count five into the top row from left to right. But before you do, remember Ms. Gomez is gonna tell you, go. 
that's going to be our signal in math. So right now you're listening with your ears for instructions. And when you hear me say go, you will take the counters out and put them in your, in your time frame. So listen, I'm going to say the instructions. You're going to take out your counters and put five. How many are you going to put five? I mean, sorry about that, boys and girls. How many counters are you going to put? Get ready. Five. Yes. In the top row. Where are you going to put up? Get ready. Yes. In the top row. And you're going to start from left. You see my little hand right here? To right. That means you're starting on this side and going all the way to the right side. Go. Just gave you the signal. So you should be putting your counters, just like Ms. Gomez is. Remember, I'm showing what you should be doing. One. Now I'm going to show you my PowerPoint too. Two, three, four, five. So our 10 frames should look like this. Now, we are going to be number detectives. Let's see what numbers are hiding inside five. So remember, we are number detectives. We're hunting for numbers. What numbers are hiding inside five? My turn. I see two hiding inside. Look, can you see the two in your time frame? Yes, right? I know you can see the two. What other numbers do you see hiding inside five? What other numbers do you see? Get ready. Wow, I think that just by looking, we can see the other numbers hiding. And... I know for a fact that some of you said three, and we can see one, two, three. Very good, boys and girls. So now, five is our total, or whole, as we had said, remember in the key points? So do you remember these number ones from kindergarten? Get ready. Yes, I know you remember these number ones from kindergarten. So. We said there was two hiding inside of five. That's a part. So we're going to, if you see, I added my two to the part of the number bond. Let's cover those two and find out what our other part is. On my PowerPoint, I just covered it up. On yours, you can go ahead and just cover them with your hand. And then can you see the ones that are left? Nod your head if you do. Awesome. So once you cover those up, what is our other part, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, three. So now we have to write that part in our number bond. So I would, we would write it in our number bond. Let's. Let me see if I can go ahead and write it. So three, that's our other part. So we have our two parts and our whole. Let me get my magic pointer back, boys and girls. Right here, and our whole. So let's see if we can find different numbers inside of five. Ready? Okay, what? I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to think about what other numbers you see hiding inside of five. Remember, you're detectives, you're hunting for numbers. We already saw two and three. What other numbers do we see? Hmm. Oh, did I hear someone say, Four and one? Well, 
Let's see. If we cover up four and we have one, that makes up five. So we would write four as one part and one as our other part, boys and girls. Very good. Now, let's take out two more counters, ready? And put them in our bottom row. For this, we're gonna start taking notes, boys and girls. So look at my screen over here. I'm gonna want you to open your learn book to page two. And here you have some space to write down your notes right here. Unless you wanna use a blank sheet of paper, you can do that too. You're more than welcome to do that. But if not, you can just write your notes here. You can see my screen. I know it's a little bit small, but you should be able to see it right here. Go ahead and write your number box, just like Ms. Gomez did right here, and leave it blank. Park your pencils. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to write your number box and then park your pencils. Okay, we're gonna move on, but if you need more time, go ahead and press pause on the video and you can press play when you're ready to move on. So, we're gonna put our 10 frames down here and I'm gonna be showing you what you're supposed to be doing so that you won't get lost. So you have your 10 frame and you have your notes up here and your pencil should be parked. Thank you, boys and girls. So instructions were to take out two more objects and put them in the bottom row. That means you take two more counters and put them in the bottom, just like that. I'm gonna do it on my screen now. One, two. I added two more. Okay, so now our, it should look like this. How many counters are there now, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, seven. We have seven counters in our 10 frame now. So, what numbers do you see hiding inside seven? Get ready. Did I hear you say five? Are there five counters hiding inside seven? Get ready. Yes, there is. So now we're gonna draw five dots as a part in our number bond instead of the number five. Are you ready? Go ahead and I'm gonna do it what you're supposed to do and I'm gonna do it on my PowerPoint so you can see both. So you're supposed to draw five dots as a part. Okay, so did anyone see five counters? Yes, I heard some of you and I know for a fact that some of you must have seen five counters so again, we're gonna draw five dots as a part in our number bond, just like it's right here in my, in my PowerPoint, instead of the number five. So go ahead and draw five dots in yours. Just like Ms. Gomez, if you see me on the screen, we're gonna draw one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. My counters moved a little, but that's all right. So you should have five dots in your number bond. Press pause, remember, at any time that you need more time. And then press play when you're ready to move on. Now, where do you see the five, boys and girls? Where do you see the five, detectives? Get ready. Yes, in the top row. So let's cover up the five. Let's cover it up. And I'm going to cover it up on my PowerPoint. Ready? Just like that. So after we cover it up, what do what other part do you see that makes seven? You see we cover it up here. What 
other part do you see that makes seven? Get ready. Two, right? Very good. So now we're going to draw two dots as the other part of our number bond. Just like this, boys and girls. I did it on my PowerPoint right here. Now you do it on your paper with me. Ready? Go. Go ahead and draw your, park your pencils after you've drawn your dots. And now you should have your number bond with five dots in one part, two dots as your other part. Now let's count on from five to find our total. Even though we already know we have seven, it's always good to check. So we're gonna count on. And what that means is that we're not gonna count every single one, boys and girls, because we wanna count quickly. So what that means is we're gonna count on from five, because we already know we have five in the top row. So we're gonna get five going, just like this, five. Everybody get five going, get ready. Five, and then count with me. Get ready, six, seven. See how quickly and fast that was? Yes, right? So, now let's try it again. That was just practice. Let's count on from five to find our total. Count with me. Five, six, seven. Very good, boys and girls. So what is our total? Get ready. Seven. Very good. Now go ahead and draw seven dots in your total. Go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Park your pencils when you're done. Remember, if you need more time, go ahead and press play. Go ahead and press pause, sorry, and press play when you're ready to continue. Awesome job. So now, let's represent this number bomb with numbers instead of dots. So now instead of drawing the dots that we have, we're gonna draw, we're gonna write the numbers, boys and girls. So I'm gonna move this to the side a little bit until we use it right now. And we're gonna write another number bond on the side. Go ahead and write another number bond. Remember, these are your notes. You write another number bond and what did we say our total was? Get ready, seven, very good, write it. What did we say our parts were? Get ready, yes, five and two. So five and two make seven. Good job, you guys are great number detectives solving mysteries. Very good. So now, after we've done this, we're gonna continue the lesson and we're gonna add one more counter to your 10 frame. Let's go ahead and bring your 10 frames back if you moved them away. And let's add one more. So the ones that you have, you keep them on. And we're gonna add one more just like I did on my PowerPoint. Now you add it to your time frame. Go ahead and press pause. If you need more time, press play when you're ready to continue. Very good, boys and girls. So now, what numbers do you see hiding inside? Get ready. Yes, did I hear somebody say five? Because you are so totally right. Yes, we have five right here hiding inside this number and it's in the top row. Very good. So let's go ahead and write five as one of our parts. Ready? I'm gonna do it on my PowerPoint. I'm going to write five as one of my parts. And you have to do it on your, on your practice space. 
just like I'm doing. I'm doing the work so that you guys can see what you are supposed to be doing. So five, we write five as one of our parts. Just like that. Now, if we cover up the five in the top row, right? If we cover these up, what's the other part that we see? So on your 10 frame, sorry if they fall, oh, trying to be very careful when we put them right. So if we cover up these five in the top, boys and girls, we cover these up. What other part do we see? Get ready. Yes, we see three. Go ahead and write it. I would write it here. And you all would write it in your number bond. Three. Very good. So now we're going to count on to find our total. That means that we're going to count on from five to find our total. You ready? Count with me. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. So what's our total, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, eight is our total. So go ahead and write eight as your total. And in your books, you would write it here. So did you notice how now we didn't have to do the dots? We did our number bond with numbers and we wrote our two parts are five and three, our totals eight. So this is when Ms. Gomez asks you to read your number bond, this is how you read it. Five and three make eight. So what two parts make eight, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, five and three. Beautiful. You guys are so good at this. Let's do one more. You ready? Let's add another counter to our 10 frame. Just like I added right here. And now I have to erase this so that we can start a new number one. There. So your 10 frame, you should have another number bond ready. Go ahead and write your other number bond. Just like that. And you're supposed to have added another counter right here. So we have these, just like I'm doing, and add one more counter to your 10 frame. Remember, if at any time you need more time, Go ahead and press pause and you can press play when you're ready. So your 10 frame should look like this, the one on the dot camera or the one on my PowerPoint. Now, let's see boys and girls, how many, what, sorry, what numbers do you see hiding inside? I'm gonna give you a few seconds to think. Get ready. Yeah, some of you said five. And you know what? Yes, we see five hiding in the top row right here. So let's go ahead and write five as a part. Park your pencils when you're done, just like Ms. Gomez. Then I'm going to write it on my PowerPoint too. Sorry if it's not the best handwriting on the PowerPoint, but it's really hard to write on a PowerPoint, boys and girls. <laughs> now, if we cover up these five, boys and girls, how, what other part do we see? Get ready. Four. Yes, very good. So let's go ahead and write four as our other part and then park your pencils. I'm going to 
try to write it on my PowerPoint. Wow, my four came out so neat. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna count on to find our total, boys and girls. So we already know that we have five. We don't need to count those. So we're gonna start from five and count on. Get ready, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what's our total? Get ready. Yes, nine, boys and girls. Very good. So we write it in our total, in our number bond, and we park our pencils. I'm gonna go ahead and write it on my PowerPoint. The nine is a little harder to make. Can't make a perfect circle, but look better than that. My handwriting in my book was better. Wow, you all are great detectives. We were able to find a lot of hidden numbers. Give yourself a pat on the back. Awesome job, detectives. So now, it's time to take up your problem set. Go ahead and go to your problem set. I'm going to remove my time frame and my counter, and I'm going to show you the problem set right here. This is how your problem set should look like in your book. Here on my screen, it doesn't have for name and date, but on your screen, it, I mean on your book, sorry, it says name, date. And remember, that is one of I, the idea 56. Write your name, date, and goal on every paper. So, I'm... Um, I'm going to tell you go and you're going to start writing. I'm even going to write the goal so that you can start writing your goal on every paper. Ready? Go. Like this. Today we are August 17, 2020. And I'm going to write my goal here. And right now I'll make my screen bigger while you're writing your name and date. so that you can see that our goal is 85% or higher on end of module. So on every end of module, we should be strive to get an 85% or higher. Let me see if I can make it. This is as big as I can make it. I'm gonna put it in the middle of the screen and hopefully you can see my goal. Let me see if you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna try to make it as close as it can so that you're able to see my goal right there at the top. This is how your paper should look like for math. All paper should have name, date, and goal. Of course, don't write my name, write your name. Okay, um, you can go ahead and press pause on the video while you finish writing your heading, and you can press play when you're ready to move on. Awesome. So I'm gonna show one example with you boys and girls, and then after our live session, you will have time to finish it on your own. Ready? You can do it with me. Instructions say circle five, and then make a number bond. So if you can see number one, they already circled five for us, and they put it as a part, just like when we were doing the counters, right? We would find the five and put it as a part. So let's go ahead and trace it so that we know that we're supposed to circle and they put it as a part. So if we cover these up, what other part do we see? Sorry. We cover these part, what other part do we see? Get ready. Yes, three, right? We see three in the bottom. So let's go ahead and put right three. I write you right as our other part in the number one. Now, to find our total or our whole number, we're going to count on, just like we did with our 10 frame and our counters. We already know that we have 5 here. No need to count that again. So we're going to start with 5 and count on. Get ready. 5, 6, 7, 8. So what's our total or our whole number? Get ready. Yes, 8. Very good, boys and girls. So now we know that we have, we have five and three make 
eight. Awesome job. Can't wait to see you in our live session. Don't forget to log in.